Hey everyone! So, I've been meaning to work on some projects that involve streaming video for a while, but none of my cameras were any good for it. I mean, yeah, my phone camera can stream, kind of, but then I can't use my phone. And I've had some luck with the Raspberry Pi camera, but I wanted something with better resolution that would work on most of my devices, including most of the single board computers that I have. And the winner is... this little thing. This is a C3 cam 135 from Econ Systems, and of all of the USB cameras I've looked at, this is probably the best compromise between resolution, frame rate, and cost. Over USB 3, it can push 15 frames per second of uncompressed 4K video, or 60 frames per second of uncompressed Full HD video. With compression, it can do something like 13 megapixels at 20 frames per second. So this little thing can push some pixels around. It also works on USB 2, but obviously with reduced frame rates. Still, it's pretty fast for streaming. This is their fixed focus model because it annoys me when cameras are constantly trying to like refocus. But they do also sell automatic models as well. I just haven't tested any of those. It comes as two boards that uh, just kind of snap together and then can be fastened with some screws. I think this is so that they can change the plug type because they sell these with USB-B type connectors and they also sell USB-C type connectors. But these top boards might also add other features that I'm just not even factoring in here. So it is a pretty cool design that they're able to exchange it, and it probably helps with thermal regulation too, to not have all the stuff squished together like that. Anyway, I'll put a link to their site in the description. It's not an affiliate link, I'm not being paid to say any of this. I just know that a lot of people are here because they're into single board computers, and this camera seems like a really good fit for most boards. Uh, especially the ones with USB 3. It works out of the box on Windows, and I've tested it on several Linux distributions, like Raspbian and Ubuntu, and it works great on those. Anyway, I'll end this video with some footage, but it'll probably have to be scaled to the rest of this video, so it doesn't really do it the justice it deserves. But if anyone's interested, I can upload some raw footage as a separate video. Anyway, bye!